Right, well we've left these manifold parts um, 24 hours overnight um, for the sealer to go off. So they should be nice and um, nice and sealed, nice and drying out. So the next thing to do is to assemble these two halves again. Now, you might remember when we took this apart, there was this rubber gasket here. Um, I think it's a rubber gasket. The guy um, who's right up on following to do this um, was unsure. It looks as though it's been pinched a little bit in places. It's difficult to tell whether it's a rubber gasket or it's actually a bead of sealer been put around there. I think it's probably a gasket. Now, he said his was destroyed and he just used the, uh, the copper um, Loctite 5920 uh, gasket maker to seal his. But I think this looks in quite good condition, um, this gasket, and I've reinserted it round the uh, round in its groove. However, it is a little bit loose in places, so what I'm thinking is I'm going to put a little thin smear of this silicon, uh, sorry, of this uh, copper silicon uh, gasket maker in the groove just to stick it in place, and then maybe just a thin smear over the top. Um, obviously, it's going to mate with these surfaces here and here, so we don't really want a load of goo oozing out into the into the uh, intake manifold. Um, so just a little smear just to stick it in place and just to aid it sealing. So um, I'm going to give that a go now. Wiping the excess off here and having a bit of look just to see. So be careful you don't stretch it. So there's a little bit of damage there. I think that's going to be fine by the time that's nipped up. Really don't think there's any, it's worth putting any sealer on there. Um, no, I think we'll just nip that up as it is. So this is the other half of the gasket, uh, sorry, the other half of the manifold with the um, throttle body that sits on there, so that sits upright in the engine. So I'm just going to try and bring these two halves together gently now without disturbing the seal. Which has failed miserably. Not the seal, but my um, bringing the two halves together gently. This side doesn't seem to want to go in for some reason. I think you've got to get this on really square. There we go. That's more like it. Okay, so they're both together. 
So there is a gap around there that I can't squeeze together. Um, I don't know if you can see that, just there, which indicates that that seal is sticking proud. So I think we'll go for that. Uh, all that remains to do is to put all our bolts in the holes. One, two, three. Four, so do that one up a little bit because it's five, and then I think we've got six in the middle there, seven, and eight. So I'm just going to nip those up lightly, just sort of hand tight, just to hold everything together, make sure it's all gone together properly. It's probably better with these is to um, not tighten them down sort of all in one place but just do them gradually not like anything really um, head gasket bolts are critical for that I think the cam cover has to be put on and you do the bolts up in a sequence so I'm just nipping these up tight at the minute finger tight Now, if I remember rightly, these weren't over tight anyway, so I'm not going to um, tighten them right up really hard. Obviously, because there's no repair procedure for this, because for whatever reason, Vauxhall Opal GM don't want you um, repairing these manifolds. And obviously, I've got no torque settings for torque wrench settings for these bolts. Um, on the subject of torque wrench settings. A lot of people just say, yeah, do it up until you can hear the bolt start to creak or goes about to snap off, which is not really the right thing to do. Um, but a lot of things like this, non-safety critical components like this, I don't really bother too much with torque wrench settings. Um, it's not really worth a little bit of experience. You can just guess, not guess, but just sort of um, work out that, yeah, that feels tight. You know, I can see this has nipped up nicely here. Um, but things like cylinder head bolts are safety critical parts, like braking system parts um, and things like that. It's a good idea to actually torque them down to the manufacturer's torque set. In fact, with a head gasket bolt, it's essential that you do that. Um, otherwise, you can get the head twist or crack. And uh, that's an expensive hobby. So I'm sort of just doing these up alternate corners now, just to bring everything down evenly. So I'm just going to go round them once, starting at one end, and we'll start with the one we've just done because the uh, tool's coming out in that, so that's, I'm happy with that one. Let's go round them all and just make sure they're all nipped up reasonably tightly. Obviously you've got to be especially careful with um, aluminium castings like this in that manifold because um, they'll easily crack, all the threads will strip out if you do them down too tightly. So. That one's quite loose still in the middle there. Okay, we'll just go around them once more because obviously as things settle down, you tighten one up in the middle, you can loosen others up elsewhere. Okay, I'm quite happy with that. Now as you can see, that's nipped down quite nicely because that tiny little bead of um, sealer that we put around there has actually oozed out a little bit. You can just see the little copper 
colour along there so that means we've um, actually filled the spaces with the copper sealant so I'm just going to go around and wipe the excess off it's actually done that pretty much all the way around which is good because that means it's oozed out and made a seal or assisted the rubber seal that um, that was already in there okay so there we have it one fully assembled resealed inside and out um, in that manifold so what I'm going to do now is uh, pop out of the garage and we'll reassemble all the uh, valves and solenoids and sensors and stuff that were on the side here I think there's another one went in the top there somewhere um, we'll get all that done and hopefully we'll get it back on the car I'll see you out in the garage right so back in the garage now <clears throat> it's time to refit all these um, bits and pieces here bracketry um, little sensor um, not forgetting this important o-ring so this has all got a bolt on this side um, so let's just crack on and do it if I can remember how to get it back together now I did point out in uh, previous videos that it's a good idea to take a lot of photographs of these so I have taken photographs um, so if we do get stuck we should be fine to um, find out where everything fits so let's crack on first of all I'm going to give these things a little bit of a clean a bit grubby I haven't put any gloves on this morning because I thought it was all going to be clean but hey ho so a bit of the older uh, auto glim degreaser give it a little bit of a squirt trying to get too much muck and rubbish in them um, in the little holes the only thing I'm a little bit concerned about with this little sensor here it's obviously a manifold pressure sensor is that it was um, had quite a lot of oil in there so hopefully it's still functioning but I'm guessing we'll find out these problems there's no engine management lights coming up um, registering any codes or anything for that sort of thing but like I say we'll see how it goes when we get it back together might just give it a little a little clean in this little hole. There's a little hole in the air in there. Just a little bit of rag in there. See if we can get any oil out of it. It's not too bad actually. I don't think. No, it's fairly clean. So if I remember rightly, we'll get this one on first. This bolts on simply there. So it pushes in to the rubber gasket. Little hole there. Like a rubber seal, o ring seal gasket thing there, and it just pops in. And then there's a bolt that goes in there, which I think was that one. I'll screw that back in there. Appropriate socket. And again with these, no real torque settings, just nip them up till they're tight really. So that's that one done. And then this lot on the side here, I have no idea how this goes back together to be honest. Um, actually I think it's a little bit self-explanatory. I think that just goes on there. So you've got two bolts there. That's a little locating eye there, bolt there. That's quite good. So again, we'll just give this a little squirt of the degreaser a quick wipe over get any filth off of it <clears throat> I know it's probably going to get dirty again but keeping these things clean especially when you've got everything stripped down um, keeps the engine bay looking nice and if you do need to work on it again it's um, it's quite clean and you don't have to get so filthy dirty just a quick wipe over An important thing to remember is there's a little o-ring seal for this and that was just sat 
you can see there you can the o-ring here was sat in there so i nearly lost that when i um, took it apart so it just sits in there <coughs> pop these screws out here Well, let's just move that a little bit closer so you guys can see what's um, going on. There we go. So a little O-ring sat in there. And the good thing with this is it looks complicated, but it all just falls into place. So it all just sits on there like that. So I'm just going to notice a bit of gunge of mist over here. It's a bit damp around there. Let's give it a wipe over. <coughs> So I'm hoping today to get this um, all back together. Um, I've got the new manifold, uh, sorry, the new rocker cover. Um, although there was a little bit of controversy with that in that <clears throat> I ordered it as a genuine um, GM part and it's come back in. Um, it sort of looks genuine, but there's nothing on it to say it's GM. I have emailed the seller um, who's ensured me that it is genuine it looks a very very good quality um, and he's saying that the part numbers are removed due to resale so i sort of believe that resale laws in the uk <coughs> i tend to believe that um because i know there are such laws and you can see where the part numbers have been removed but we'll look at that a little bit later on um, i'll show you the state of the old one and we'll have a little chat as to why i've decided to go for a new one so again, with these, just nip them up. Again, you've got to be careful. These are plastic, so you don't want to do them up ridiculously tight. Let's just get in. Just nip it up. I have to make a seal. Again, this one's a metal bracket here, so don't want to over tighten it, but just a little, a little nip. Now, another bracket here. Um, that had some pipe work and stuff on it and some cables in it that are still in the engine bay. Um, it's got a stud there. I'm trying to think what that was. I think that's got stuff on it that's a little nut there. I'll put back on. I think that's another bracket that's still attached to the car. So I'm just going to work out how this goes. I think it sits in there. Or was it that way up? I think it was that way up. Yeah, that makes sense because... <clears throat> so this is the other thing. If you just look at these things a little bit closely, you know, say, oh, well, that will fit on that way up. Yeah, it's great, but... Does that make sense? You've got a big clip there. Can't really see that, can you? Um, yes, yeah, so there's a big clip there, a little clip there. But if you put it the other way, again, just like this bit, everything seems to line up. So that big clip probably takes that pipe down to there. It's got an elbow on it there. Fits onto that. That probably takes the wire. I think the wire came in from there, but that will take another cable up, probably over the top there to the throttle body or something. And the other bracket bolts on there so i'm convinced it goes on that way so again just give him a little spruce up make it a little bit tidier and cleaner so if i clean everything when i have dirty stuff and have the gloves on um they were filthy, I was filthy, and because I've cleaned everything as I've taken it off, I'm just giving it a wipe over now, I'm not really getting my hands dirty at all, so it is worth keeping things clean, what is it they say, cleanliness is next to godliness or something, I seem to think my, my mum teached me when I was a kid, but anyway, enough of me rambling on, let's get this bracket on, so we've decided it's going on that way up, I think, didn't we, let's just sit this up the right way. So I believe it goes on there. Sorry, there. That's what it didn't look right. So let's take those two nuts out there or bolts out.
<coughs> so that's all that. These are bolts that hold other bits on and clamps on um, when the manifold's back in the car. And I think, other than this bottom bracket here, just about there now. So, I'll take that off, that bolt out. And there was this bracket here. Now, if you remember, well, I said that that actually fitted to the bottom of the manifold, fits to the bottom of the manifold, and um, clamps to the back of the engine block, I think, or the back of the cylinder head. I'm not quite sure, it's not crawled underneath there yet to have a look. But it wasn't there, the bolt that clamps it to the um, back of the engine wasn't there. So whether that's been sheared off, so this has been taken off before it's been rounded off or something, I don't know. Um, but we'll be doing an oil change on the vehicle shortly. Um, so when it's up on the ramps and we're having a look underneath at that, we'll see if we can um, find where that bolt goes. I've just got to remember, I think it was that way up. That way. <clears throat> because this connector here is a connector plugs it all into the back of that plug, the bottom of that valve. And I think the little clip for it was on that bracket there. Um, so I'm pretty sure that's the way up it goes. So we'll put it on there now. <coughs> These holes are actually slotted um, here and here. So there is some um, adjustment there a little bit. So what we'll do is we'll just put that back in and we won't tighten that right up. We just sort of put it in loosely so we don't lose it. I just hope we remember it's there. Do it hand tight. There we go. And if um, if I've got it wrong, and I think that's right because when that sits on the engine, it's actually going to sit somewhere like that, which means that that's square to the back of the engine block. I should think it's low down, low enough down for the block. So that's sort of going to sit at that sort of angle so that'll that'll bolt on so hopefully we have one fixed manifold all sealed up inside and out cleaned up no oil in it anymore um hopefully we're good to go so i'll leave it there for now and um catch you again soon